just two people walking home. Yet there's peril, there's anguish, there's fear. Surely there's something we can do to stop this from happening every single day. So this situation won't change unless us men make some changes. Surely there must be a simple way that I, as an ordinary man, can do something positive and impactful that will make a difference. The appalling murder of Sarah Everhard has brought to attention the threat women face every single day, compounded with shocking growing levels of domestic abuse. However, rather than change, I see an understandable escalation in anger, fear and hate and a worrying growing divide between men and women. I started talking to my friend Gary Taylor Nea, who, amongst other things, supports victims of domestic abuse and has dedicated her life to ending this despicable crime. We agreed men can do more and the defensive, not all men, wasn't working. We also agreed there must be a way to create a positive change and surely men and women can work together. So how can men help to make women feel safe? I'm going to talk to women's groups and listen to ideas for change. I'm going to listen to male experts looking to try and make a change. I'm also going to talk to the resistors, share ideas, talk, engage and discuss them. Together, we can develop a campaign that is simple, impactful and will make a positive change. A campaign we can all support and end division between sexes and stop this situation from happening anymore.